Hey, how's everybody doing today? Okay, uh, we're going to talk about this little fish down here and what it is representing. And if you notice this little fish here, let me blow it up for you guys. It is something that uh, one of my team members, Oliver, uh, he has a channel called Oak Island Research. And he is uh, the one who has really brought attention to this little feature down here. And uh, just to let you know, this is a very unique design, very intricately drawn. And there's this little feature that comes off of here. I won't say what I think it looks like, but it is a little feature that comes off of the tail here. Um, you know, you have an eye. You have this unique fin that is like a shark, but it is very interesting and it calls your attention to why this is so intricate. And <clears throat> when you study this drawing, you're f you find out that there is very many little details. Another thing that Oliver pointed out, uh, and just this is just a side note to let him know that I have done something with this is these little tick marks up here on this island and if you notice see if I can bring it in closer how this one goes straight and this one goes off but it has a little tick mark coming off the side usually what I'm finding is these mean this means a straight line and this means that it's a line with another operation going in this direction. But that's for another video. Today, we're just going to talk about this fish. So, let's see. All right. So, what I have here is I have the fish overlaid. Now, one of the things that I've discovered in looking at these overlays and many of the way, uh, the way this uh, author, I believe, likes to position things is that he doesn't, when he aligns a line, he doesn't align it on the center of the circle. He does tangents. And even with his line alignment, he doesn't, like he's aligning this with this hole right here. He doesn't put it in the middle of the line. He puts it on the outside edge. Now this is a very rough drawing. And I believe this fish is a guide for verification and to set up and to basically tell you, yeah, you're going in the right direction. And he's like a little guide. So let me explain some of the features of this fish, which I call the big fish. And I believe there are three uses for this fish, and each time it gets smaller. So we have the big fish, and he's showing an alignment with the trap door and this corner that goes down here, okay? And he's got this alignment here, basically going through this square here, and to and on this uh, this is basically the center point of uh, of the uh, the entrance to Oak Island the the Oak entrance I'm sorry and then we have this other feature down here which is one that I uh, pretty much came out with and this line is the center line that goes through the big boat. Let me bring up the map and I will show you. See, this is the Batau and it's going through here. And this alignment here goes through the uh, oak entrance and it connects with the uh, Barku. So what this is telling you, this fish, is it's giving you a reference to this line that sets up here but most importantly 
I believe it's giving you a reference to the way St. Peter or a fisherman would hook a fish for bait is put it through the eye and notice it goes on the tangent of the circle and the fin is a reference on this triangle to this orientation line which comes off of the barcu and if you saw my previous videos it's an orientation in order to set up this compass rose or compass wheel on here oh just a little side note is uh, you know the 45 522 is that this is 522 feet the center of this and this is 45 degrees another thing is is this is a spear and this is the shaft of a spear so this is La Hampe so Oliver you can uh, give me a comment about this this is referring uh, to uh, in it is a link between La Formula the translation of La Formula La Hampe to the shaft of this spear 522 feet to 45 degrees so if there's something hidden here it may be if not it is just referring to the center point of this compass wheel uh, you know Barku is is lined up to this so this is all lined up but what we're seeing with this fish is basically the alignment here the reference to triangle of Peter and the general positions here alignments of triangle 2 the hole and the trapdoor now here's another interesting feature here because I was talking with Oliver and I believe that this since this is the trapdoor and there possibly is a valve in here because that's what it says here is la supapa so there might be a valve in in the under this trapdoor which does something with the flood tunnel system and this may be the flood tunnel system that goes through here one thing that I want to show you guys is look at this right here. Let me see if I can let's uh, diminish this a little bit. Look at see how this ice is broken up here. I used to live by a lake in the winter in the northeast, and this you always see water or ice break up when it was flowing and that would be the first place it would be flowing or if it was warmer water if there was water coming from underground here it would be warmer so this matches up to this just a just a thought this is just not this is very speculative so anyway I just wanted to show you guys that and throw that into the video um, okay so let's move on to the next fish and this is the medium sized fish and this is the one that uh, I sort of looked at and here we have the emphasis on the trap door we also have an alignment here that's going to show you the alignment to the triangle too. So it's emphasizing that. It's also emphasizing this line right around right here. Now this check, we're going to find out later that this check is actually for triangle two and it bisects right down here at a perpendicular line. We have this little thing right here that is uh, showing us the alignment to Nolan's cross and we have a reference here to the tip of the triangle which I believe will become very uh, critical in later series of uh, progression. 
So that's what I have for that fish. Uh, let me pull up that other fish again. I. Oh yeah, triangle two. This little thing was for triangle two. So uh, that's what I have for the fish. I will bring up just one thing here. Let's see. Where is it? The map. Oh, here it is. Here's the map. And you can see uh, that this fish pretty much confirms this right here, this line right here. Let's bring up the fish again. Oh, wrong one confirms this line right here, confirms the alignment of this 45, five, 45 degree to the triangle of Peter. It is pulling out the hole, the trap door, and triangle two. And it's also referring to uh, this line right here, which goes through uh, or the, these two lines because the vertex is right here. Another thing is too is anything that's associated with the mouth, it I'm finding that it means that you've caught it. You've caught this fish. So um, this these two lines converging here, uh, even though I put this fish here, but the fact that it aligns up with all these different features to a pretty much uh, you know within a rough degree it, it it's telling me that yeah you've caught it so anyway that's all I have for today I uh, hopefully time will permit me to do a little bit more I have a lot more to show you guys and uh, anyway I'll talk to you later